So our first um, uh, chicks are fledged into the blight cage with their parents. Um, let me go through and take a peek. This is one of Bubba's big babies. I think it's the newest one. Just got fledged today. Um, there's a Haverty baby, right? No. Haverty baby over there. And I think that one is a Venus and, and um, Hunter baby. And they were all brought up by my crested pair. Um, these guys are all grown ups. Who's that? I can't tell because he's facing the other way. Um, that's a baby right there. A normal green. That looks like another um, Bubba baby. Another green Bubba baby. And their daddy is in here. Their mama got killed by a hawk. But um, These two think they're brother and sister. In fact, the gray wing, who's the one that's slightly greener, is Bubba's baby. And the yellow, who's a double factor spangle, is Razzle and Remington's baby. But I had to pull Razzle and Remington fairly early on because they were just failing. I think they had like sauerkraut or something. And they and this one ended up getting dropped on Bubba and he did a good job of taking care of it. There's old Bubba right there. There's Haverty. Uh, there is the, this little guy is the other Razzle and Remington chick. Um, I'm kind of, I was kind of hoping it was a boy, but it's too early to tell. Um, that little pie with his back to us is Marvel and Peter's baby. And there's a lot of mommies and daddies right there. Oh, that's a, that's a, a Bubba baby just flew down there. Um, this little guy right here, where'd he go? There he is, that little guy right there. I don't know who that is. <laughs> it's so hard to say. Um, and I think this is a another, um, what you call it? No, that might be Remington. I can't tell from here. Uh, this little guy right here is a seal baby. See him sleeping there? He's just exhausted, first day out. Um, that's Seal and Pastel's, um, and there's Seal and Pastel's other little gray things. Now these are Buster's grandbabies. Um, Seal didn't get Buster's yellow face, but I bred him to Pastel, who put it back in again. Um, who else is down here? That those that little pie and opaline are sitting there next to their daddy. That is Peter. Um, this little one is another Haverty chick. And another Haverty chick, and that's my baby. And these, that is Winston, who's never been out here before. He went straight to breeding, and he was um, having a discussion with Cadet, who is the other new guy on the block. So they may form a breeding alliance. Um, I don't think Winston has found his girl yet. Where is she? There she is. There's, um, that's sick. So, so we got a lot of adults out here and a lot of babies. Um, my teenagers are all in the other um, divided flight, but once these babies get established, I will be, um, first of all, culling some of these adults because I, some of them are one and done, um, and moving half of the teenagers in here so that I have all age groups together. Look at that little guy. Oh, he's cute. Because this is a big world. Big world. Um, and the babies are just really enjoying fly being able to really fly out there. And eating. They spend all day down on the ground eating. As you can see, I put a lot of um, millet sprays out because it's baby food. And uh, they also get lots of soft food. Today they got lettuce and that's a minced egg down there, which they haven't started eating yet. Oh, Missy, you have to move so I can close the door. You have to move so I can close the door. Thank you. Okay, so a whole lot. I think there are um, eight, eight, 18 babies in here with five different fathers. Maybe it's 15. I can't remember. Um, so, and very successfully launched. 
Some of them came in today. Some of them have been in there for a few days. And they are ready to go. The oldest chick is six weeks old. I, I launched them with their father or their mother, whoever was raising them. Um, oh, Stella's babies are in there with her somewhere, too. Um, there's Stella up there. And her two little green guys are in here somewhere. What'd you do with your babies, Miss Lane? Huh? What'd you do with them? Um, so, yeah. All kinds of good things happening in here. I'm very pleased, um, uh, weaning them. I had to put them on calcium again because I still haven't caught up with the calcium def deficit. But I found that weaning them off, um, by reducing the strength of the calcium over from their fourth week to their sixth week. So I go to uh, four weeks, I put them down a few quarters of a dose and run them on that for a while. And then I put them down to half a dose and run them on that for a while. And then put them down to one quarter of a dose. Um, doesn't seem to have any negative effect when they get cut off from it. Um, and as you can see, there's all kinds of opportunities for calcium here. That's a homemade calcium block. And there's about four of them in here, along with cuddle bones and the like. So, wow, they really went through that one, didn't they? Okay, so, I'm really pleased with the launch, but we're not done yet. Let's go look at the other, the babies that are still to come. <laughs>